Good afternoon. Since I don't have a fireplace, I'm calling this video my Chester side chat. Lying here beside me is my lovely Zen Black Labrador Retriever called Chester, who many of you have met. And with thanks to Marsha Lampson, he is lovingly nicknamed Winchester. Chester has been the model of calm and comfort during these strange days. He is my filing clerk in chief, a placid, even tempered, balanced, if slightly lazy, companion of the first order. Now, I don't know how well this is going to work, but here he is doing his job. He reminds me at every moment that God is found in all beings. He is my touchstone right now because it is his calm that is infectious. I am blessed in many ways. Music is at the heart of my life, and you all have given me the opportunity to live it, to express it at the church every week. I wrote a little note to the fine musicians of our church last week, our choir, our bell ringers, our keyboardists and instrumentalists, because I realized that with the exception of summers, I have made corporate faith-based music on Thursday nights and Sunday mornings for the last 42 years. We use the term small group ministry all the time at church. I think we can all agree that the choir is the purest definition of small group, ministering to one another and ministering to the congregation. Twice a week, faithful, consistent, generous. So this strange hiatus just doesn't feel right. But we are strong in the belief that we will be back together soon. I am reminded of Psalm 101, verse 1. I will sing of steadfast love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will make music. Something incredible happens when we make music together, whether it be choral, symphonic, chamber, opera, duos, trios, music of any kind, of any style, made as collaboration with another human being. As we work at the music, and we do work at it, removing distractions, correcting mistakes, blending, tuning, fine tuning, we are creating relationship with God through one another. It is a vital collective conversation of the heart where our music meaningfully transforms into love, justice, prayer, and praise. From mere syllables and notes on a page comes an intention, a gift to and for a loving God. In light of our current separation, though together in spirit, I offer you a stunning choral work. I have to thank my friend Priscilla March who brought the video to my attention. It is actually a hymn found in our New Century Hymnal, number 591 for those of you who may be curious. It is entitled, This is My Song to the Tune of Finlandia. You will hear it sung by a well-lauded eight-member professional men's chorus called Kantus from Minnesota. And this was recorded live a few days ago, the singers at appropriate social distance in what they are calling the COVID-19 sessions. And I want to read the text to you. This is my song, O God of all the nations, a song of peace for lands afar and long. This is my home, the country where my heart is. Here are my hopes, my dreams, my holy shrine. But other hearts in other lands are beating with hopes and dreams as true and high as mine. My country skies are bluer than the ocean and sunlight beams on clover leaf and pine. But other lands have sunlight, too, and clover, and skies are everywhere as blue as mine. Oh, hear my song, 
O God of all the nations, a song of peace for their land and for mine. I can only hope that this song brings you some peace, comfort, enjoyment. I will sing of steadfast love and justice. To you, O oh Lord, I will make music. Until we are together again, Chester and I remind you to be safe, stay well, and may your days be filled with blessings and music.